Today we'll see how to attach a digital lab analog to a digitally printed model. See, this is the model that we have printed. Um, now, Ismay, you can see uh, we have these holes for the implant analogs. And uh, this is the implant analog, digital lab analog. As per the size you have to choose, it is regular because we are using regular implants. So these two components you get in this lab analog. One is the lab analog and another is the screw. It's a two component system. So let's see how to attach it to this uh, lab analog. You can see in this, there is a groove inside. If you can see, uh, are you able to see? Uh, there is a triangular groove that is there inside this. There is a groove I will show you. Yes. Can you see this groove now? Yes. This groove is there inside this uh, printed model. This groove, uh, and also if you see this mod, this uh, digital analog also has this groove here. Three triangular pattern. It's a triangular pattern. So what we have to see while printing is that uh, the this all this is very clean and sharp. Uh, we should be able to see the triangular groove completely properly so that it this lab analog fits exactly into that place and then it will be screwed in with this screw so there is a tool for this uh, uh, because I uh, will tell you what to hold this let's attach uh, impression post just to hold it while we are attaching it to the model now we are able to hold it uh, so in this uh, direction we are trying to insert it but you see it is not very easy to go so this is uh, Ostam has provided us with a tool this is called uh, digital lab analog reamer this has two sides this is for the mini side this is for the regular side so it's a very simple to use what we have to do is we just have to insert it and just rotate it like this so this creates exactly the same amount of space required for the lab analog so it will fit properly because while printing there may be sometimes uh, uh, there is some discrimination and uh, discrepancy but uh, so this is the official tool provided by Ostrom itself so it will not affect the accuracy of it so now we will insert this uh, lab analog into this uh, groove so we have a triangular groove, we are going the same direction as almost, so as you can see now it is fit completely. We can just press it a little bit so that it fits completely and now we just tighten it and it is done. We can just remove this impression post that we have put. This was just to hold it while placing it, otherwise it is not required. Similarly, let us place the other one also. This is... Once you open it, it is tight like this. It has a lock and a screw. Let us just open it. this and these lab analogs are usable as well because you can easily unscrew it and remove it from the model and use it in the new uh, uh, new model so this is a triangular groove it just goes in completely as we can almost see from this side also it is seated completely we will just take this screw and just tighten it The triangular pattern also helps us in orienting the hex actually uh, because it will only fit in three places so our hex will be also in the same position as it is in the mouth.
So this is our model uh, with digital lab analogs.